In this video, we're going to see how to deploy an app or create a new app on the Google Play Store. First of all, we need an app. This is a plant flashcard app that I've written, and I am going to choose build and then generate signed APK. Now, key store path, I already have a key store from some work I've done in the past, so I just choose existing, and I select that key store. Naturally, if I didn't, I would choose create new. Uh, key store password I'm going to put in. Of course, it's my super secret, super secure password. Alias, uh, click on the ellipsis, and I made one called plant flashcards. If I had not already made that, I'd just hit create a new key. I'd give it an alias name, a password, and then fill out all of the details below. Uh, but I'll leave that to you because I've already done this for plant flashcards, and frankly, it's kind of boring. So I go ahead and choose next and everything looks good here. Just note where the APK will be built because we're going to need that in a few moments when we upload it to the Play Store. Build type release is good with me. Tick both boxes and then choose finish. Now I've already done that part. So the uh, APK is already created and now I'm going to run over to the uh, Play Store and choose create application. Uh, title, I'm going to call this plant flashcards just like so and we'll choose create. One thing I will emphasize significantly as this is creating is uh, quality. You can't, if you, if you release an app before the quality is ready, your Play Store ratings will review it as people use the app and get frustrated because maybe there's a button that doesn't work or maybe the app crashes unexpectedly. So uh, have a test plan in place before you deploy your app. Make sure you have other people test it. Even if you think you're really good, have other people test it. I had my wife test this very same app. I thought it was completely bulletproof, and she showed me a way to cheat and get a higher score than the user actually earned, which, of course, I fixed. But it did require somebody else who was clicking on a button that I wasn't used to clicking on or doing some interaction that I wasn't used to doing to find that. So test thoroughly. Uh, consider old phones that your friends aren't using anymore. Firebase has some nice ways to test. Lots of good options here. Okay, nonetheless, on to the short description. I have typed these in advance to save us a bit of time in the video. Uh, think of the short description and the full description early, possibly even before you write your app. Because one thing is you want to make sure that you stay focused on your app. It's very easy to start adding a lot of features that may not be used. And that's extra time that you have to spend writing it and maintaining it. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, though, these descriptions are very important for finding uh, or for helping people find your app. So make sure to use the right kind of words to attract the right kind of attention. So, so short description. Learn plants with flashcards. See a plant photo. Pick the correct plant. Full description, learn trees, shrubs, annuals, perennials, and more with plant flashcards. So I won't read the entire thing, but you can see the correct words at the right place. A brief description that tells you exactly what the app is and the short description, and then the full description has more words that are more searchable. I will probably fill more of this out uh, as I go through. Okay, so screenshots, good idea to, to have a few screenshots here. I am going to browse a couple files, and I got several of these just by taking screen captures of the emulator as we see it here. If you prefer screen capture from an actual device on many Android phones, if you hold the power down, I'm sorry, the power and the volume down, hold those buttons for a few seconds, it'll take a screen capture, but this is my development computer, and I happen to have the emulator handy, so this works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple that kind of really stand out. We'll grab the, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll grab the, this guy right here with some kind of yellow flower. Uh-oh, uh, looks like it's uh, maybe a little bit too big, so no problem. So 320px, 320 pixels. Okay, let's try, uh, just out of curiosity, let me try, uh, there were a couple I took where I just zoomed up right on the app itself. We'll see if that works a little bit better. No, nope, still no dice, so a bit of resizing to do. Uh, nonetheless, I do have my high-res icon that I can grab. Let me go ahead and grab that. We'll go with a flashcard logo, just like so. Flashcard logo, you see, I, I, used, uh, I, I just used paint. I'm sorry, not paint, I used GIMP. 
and a couple of fancy fonts, a couple of different layers here. I have a whole video that talks about using GIMP to create an icon, so I won't go through that here. But you see we can turn on and off the different colored layers, and then I have a transparency behind it. And in this case, I just blew it up to 512 by 512. So we have that. I'll resize the other images. Just a moment. And now with a bit of magic from paint, you see I've, I've gotten the images to the correct dimension. It ends up that the images can't be any less than 320 pixels on any side. So a few of them I had to bump out just a little bit and then recenter to get to that minimum of 320. So it looks like we're pretty good. I could probably add a few more graphics, promo graphic, feature graphic, but I want to keep this one kind of low key at the moment. So I'll go ahead and choose, oops, I meant to choose cat, uh, application type there, just a moment. So select an application type. Um, I'm going to say, I, I'm, go, I'm going to say application for this, and I'm going to say education. I could also do something around science or nature because there are several good categories that fit, uh, but we'll go ahead and say education. Uh, website, uh, I'm yeah, keep it at plainplaces.com for the moment. Uh, privacy policy, I have a privacy policy, a kind of all-purpose privacy policy on uh, plant places. I'm going to go ahead and use that, a uh, good idea, so save draft there. Okay. Now I still need to specify a content rating, but first, before I can do that, I need to actually upload an APK. So I'm going to go to App Releases, and I'm going to say, okay, Manage Production. Okay, and we'll say Create Release. Okay, um, okay. Now this is a bit interesting. I could use this key that I used to sign the APK, or I could sign up for Google Play App Signing. Uh, the Google Play App Signing provides a bit of a better fallback in case you ever lose your uh, key store. I'm going to go ahead and choose Continue on this. So after reading the terms fully, of course I choose Accept. Okay, uh, and now Browse. And just a moment, we'll pull this guy up. And we see the app release APK that I generated earlier from Android Studio. So we go ahead and upload this. We'll give it just a moment. And it looks like we have our version 1, release number 1. Okay, uh, what's new in this release? We can say uh, launching. Well, let's see. We'll do it. We'll leave that in. Uh, plant flashcards is live. I'll just make it short and sweet because we have a lot of information in the store listing anyway. So now I choose save. Okay, changes have been saved. Uh, now let's go back and let's take a look at the content rating. Okay, uh, so continue. Okay, I'll put in my email address. Okay, whoops. And again. Okay, uh, select category. I'm going to go with reference news or educational. Social networking, not really. Uh, and also that's going to uh, that's going to increase our or that's going to limit our audience a little bit. So we have to be careful here. Uh, what we're doing, uh, what kind of access we want to we want to get for our application because that plays well into our. Uh, that plays well into our uh, content rating. Okay, violent material, no. Uh, sexuality, no. Uh, unless you consider reproduction of plants, sexuality, but we'll, uh, we'll keep that. Uh, okay, offensive language, no. Controlled substance, no. Uh, okay, do can communi users communicate with others? No. Uh, do they share physical location? Uh, purchase goods? No. Okay, so all in all, a fairly low-risk application, not doing anything like uh, take a photo, GPS it, and put it on social media. That would that would really take us to a whole other uh, ballpark. So let's see. So all ages, everybody, uh, again, looks like a good app. Let's go ahead and say apply rating, or a good rating at least. Let's go ahead and apply rating. Okay, back to store listing. It looks like we have a couple more things that we need to do here. And sure enough, it really wants a feature graphic. So I went ahead and made one, just kind of a quick and dirty. Uh, just a moment, I'll pull it up. So I just conformed to what they're asking for here, which is 1024 by 500. Uh, I put some screen captures on it and some big text. Let's see if it likes it, fingers crossed. 
And there we go. So plant flashcards using that same font, same color scheme, just a little bit of text and a couple of screen captures. And at this point, I think we look pretty good. So I go ahead and choose Save Draft. And you notice that we get a green check, which we didn't have before. So I'm fairly happy right now because things are going pretty well. Looks like we have a couple more to-dos, pricing and distribution. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Uh, this application is free. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm okay with making it available pretty much just about anywhere, but use your own discretion on that. Keep in mind if you make it available in a country in the rest of the world uh, that you're also, you also might want to think about either translating it into different languages or at the very least use a lot of icons, not a lot of text. I couldn't get around the text here because we are matching names to photos, but on the other hand, plant names, genus, species, and cultivar are Latin by definition, so that's kind of a universal language. So, okay, at least in the world of science it is. Okay, uh, is it primarily directed towards children? No. Uh, does it contain ads? Yes, it does contain ads uh, via Google Ads. Um, okay, device category. Uh, I think we're pretty good here. Now, because this is a flashcard app, I am going to tick uh, Google Play for Education and choose Continue. Okay, uh, no in-app purchases and save. Okay, uh, content. Yeah, uh, did it go over the content guidelines? Yes. And then also, I'm, I'm comfortable with U.S. export laws. Make sure you read this, of course, all of this before checking it. Since I've deployed an app before, I've already read it. And for my purposes, I'm comfortable checking. So we go ahead and choose Save Draft, and sure enough, we get green checkbox all up and down. And so we're now ready to publish. So I click on Ready to Publish, and uh, we'll say Manage Releases. Okay. And for production, I'll choose Edit Release. Now, this is a fairly straightforward app. One screen plus settings. Uh, really, if it had any more than that, I would go through a more rigorous beta and alpha testing process. Uh, but I'm comfortable with what I've done so far. So, uh, okay, I think we are good. Okay, and so review, one APK, we're looking good. And I'm going to go ahead and click Start Rollout for, to Production, make sure that I'm ready to go, and finally choose Confirm. And there we go. Note that it says Pending Publication. So we will check back and see how things are doing, but at this point I think we're pretty good. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, I'm excited about it, and I look forward to the kind of things that, that you publish as well. That's one of the things that I really like about mobile programming is it is what they say democratization of technology or technology that everybody can use. Thank you very much.